Hey guys, I thought I would vlog this weekend. Today is day 26 of staying at home. It is April 10th. Happy Passover and happy uh, Good Friday to those of you that celebrate either of those. Today so far, I made kind of like a brunch for everybody and then at 1.15, it's almost 3 now, at 1.15 I had a quick meeting with my teacher um, on Google Meets. We're no longer allowed to use Zoom because of security issues. I'm just grateful that we have some type of way to contact each other and have these meetings and you're able to record. So, uh, and Chrome, oh, uh, Chrome has provided an extension so that you are able to see everybody in the grid instead of just one, the main person talking shows up. Uh, so that's great. And we just recorded a message to the kids uh, for next week's spring break, which we no longer have spring break. So we have stuff on the website that they can do. Uh, but it's modified and we were just going over all the things they could do we were having a bingo board and read aloud so uh, we just did a brief message and then we chit chatted i think we're gonna go to lowe's and try to find stuff for my garden we did go earlier this week but i just didn't want to be there for longer than i needed to and this is not an essential, but if you don't, like, when you're growing a garden, I don't know that much, but you do need to start at a certain time or else you're just not going to get the yields that you want, right? Um, and when I went to Lowe's, slim pickings on the plants that are already, like, grow growing, and I should have gotten the dirt, but I didn't. And there's a lot of vegetables that you can grow from home, at home, that you have in your refrigerator, like scallions and celery, uh, things that have root systems in there already, and onions. Uh, but I really want to get tomatoes and basil. Hopefully they'll have it. Maybe we'll try different lows. Um, and the other thing that I want to try to find is instant yeast to make bread. It's something that I've always wanted to do, but I don't have that in my cupboard. I have a lot of other baking stuff, and I'm behind on everything. Everybody already started their garden, so that's probably why everything is not available uh, right now. And I've tried looking online. Oh my goodness. Burpee, Bonnie, bunch of other sites that I've never heard of, gardening sites, and everything is sold out. Um, and that's the same for yeast people were thinking ahead um, things that they would need and yeast was one of them I didn't even think about it <laughs> uh, so that's my two goals today and of course getting things for the refrigerator uh, and what's the other thing Oh, for Easter, we decided to do takeout from one of our favorite restaurants. Uh, we did. We started that, I think, last year or two years ago, uh, doing Easter at a restaurant. Obviously, we can't go to a restaurant, so we made that order. Um, I'm going to make a couple of appetizers, and so that is kind of like some at home and some out. Nothing to see here. Oh, no, just the Easter bunny walking around the neighborhood. Hey, today is day 27. It is April 11th and it's a, almost 7 o'clock. I didn't film really anything today except for that Easter Bunny clip. So I was bringing Ava inside and all of a sudden I see a, <laughs> the Easter Bunny pop out of a car and stand in front of my neighbor's house. Uh, they have children. I, I Either the time was wrong or the Easter Bunny was trying to surprise the children because the bunny didn't see any children and it was just standing outside. It was so funny. Yesterday, I saw another Easter Bunny in front of one of those fast, uh, those chain restaurants like Applebee's and Chili's uh, waving to people, which I thought was hilarious. And I didn't film that much yesterday. I just felt kind of weird about it. Um, I normally don't vlog that way anyway like me in the store getting stuff and I just and I'm sorry I just couldn't do it and um yesterday we found out that the governor of we went to we go to Jersey to shop it's kind of like during this I mean we would go there normally if there wasn't a stay-at-home order um but this way it kind of made it feel like a road trip since we've been home and we went to several places. Uh, first, we went to Costco, which Costco has done such an amazing job um, with everything that's happening. And uh, we we were on a line 
and everybody was wearing a mask. Apparently, the governor had put out an executive order saying that you can't go into a store without a mask, which I think is great. Um, I had my mask, and we have gloves. And so we waited online, and then when we got to um, the entrance, the a, a worker there handed me a wipe, and I thought she said, wipe down your card, you know, the card that you show them. And I started wiping it down, and then they're like, no, 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 cart, cart, <laughs> which makes total sense. But to me, I heard card, and I was like, oh, okay. Uh, so that was funny, and we... We got a lot of things there that normally I probably wouldn't buy. Um, we got more snacks um, because what else are we doing during this time <laughs> except going to the fridge? Uh, we got snacks. We got some veggies like potatoes and peppers and uh, asparagus. Uh, I got a salad mix, uh, just a bunch of things. And they did have toilet paper, not the Kirkland brand that I like, but the Scott's, which was fine. Um, and just, it was nice to shop in there. People are, there wasn't that many people because they are limiting the amount of people in stores. So that was nice. And then when you got to the front to check out, um, they have, you know how they put the glass uh, in front of the cashier? Well, now they have extended that to the belt where you put the food. So that was really awesome. And check out was a breeze and we went um we try we went to Lowe's next no line or anything and we got the dirt and the seeds that I wanted to get so that's starting um which I'll show you I can show you that at least and then we try to go to Wegmans but the line was literally like two city blocks um I don't believe the weekends including Friday are a great day to go I think sometime during the middle of the week um early afternoon is a like not afternoon um maybe like two three o'clock is a good time to go in my opinion um so uh there was a line at Wegmans and then we went to I did get a lot of things at Costco that we wanted to get but there was a few things like garlic I'm garlic I unfortunately am not gonna buy at Costco because that's just too big and we won't go through it all um, but we went to ShopRite, they had a line there, and a cop was outside, and he wouldn't let people in without a mask. Um, but we did get most of what we wanted. I can't find instant yeast, but my bread making, I have plenty of time to make bread, so that's not a big deal. It's, it's, it was like when I was obsessed with makeup, and I needed to get all the new collections out. It's kind of like that feeling. I don't need the yeast, but I want it because I can't get it. So, but I'm not going to buy, spend tons of money, uh, like on Amazon to get instant yeast. Um, so that's just something that I will continue to look for. It'll be on my grocery list. And we don't need to go shopping, I don't think, for for a couple of weeks. So that's good. And I did get a text. I'm. Um, it's this like New York City three one one kind of thing where they keep you updated on what's going on it says like only one person should go to the store um and I think it'll have to be me because sending <laughs> I, some of you might relate sending your partner to get the stuff usually their mail it's it's kind of a complicated issue so we'll see what happens with that maybe we'll both still go because I much rather go with uh, someone during this time anyway and um I think that was it's um oh so the big news is that the mayor of new york city de blasio he said that schools are closed until the end of the year now the governor governor cuomo came on and said that no that's not something that's we can't say that right now i don't know it's it, i'm getting the same feeling as when we weren't sure if schools were going to be closed and now we're not sure if uh, if schools will ever reopen so um i'm just gonna take it like i've been trying to one day at a time with all of this news that keeps on changing even in the same day and um we'll just have to take it day by day because we don't know it seems like they're reassessing every two weeks now i can come to terms with school not being school closed for the rest of the year 
the only downside I mean there's obviously many downsides but I I really do miss the kids and in a grade like pre-k um it's all about that interaction with them um being there with them I feel like the older grades especially like um middle school and high school you can kind of it's more okay to do online work, but with pre-K, it's just so hard. With the younger grades, it's so hard um, to not have that interaction with them. And I do miss the kids. I had this thought in my mind that we would be able to go back, um, I don't know, sometime in June or maybe even in May and just kind of finish out the year being with the kids, but I don't see that happening. I Schools will probably be closed um until next year and it makes me really sad because i do miss the children and it's nice to see them on live but it's not it's not the same and um it's kind of like i i guess it's the same feeling that a lot of people are going through like the seniors in college and high school they didn't get to have the right graduation or not the right graduation but they didn't get to graduate like normally and go to their prom and it's just the word is disappointing um i really really miss the children and it's a sad way to end the year you know not being able to uh have that celebration with them as they move on to kindergarten so anyway that's what's that been on my mind and um i'll try to put some more things in here easter's tomorrow and even though i'm not doing a lot of cooking i do want to um well, really, to be honest with you, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> I was going to make a couple of appetizers, but I don't know. I'm just not in the right mood. Um, but that could change, you know. Hey, today is day 28 of staying at home almost a month now. And it's April 12th, Sunday. And happy Easter to those of you that celebrate. I want to show you my Easter set up let me turn you around there it goes and that plate is pushed over to the side because um in case my grandmother wants to eat breakfast right there and let me see so i'm gonna give her lunch this is steve brought home penny yesterday so i'm gonna give her some of this and we'll eat a little bit earlier than usual my grandmother just asked me if I was sick or something because my the bags under my eyes are so big. <laughs> I'm not sick. No, I'm just tired. I'm not getting a good night's rest. Uh, this bag is from Trader Joe's. And while we don't do Easter baskets anymore, I did get some things for uh, my family. So let me just show you. Uh, this is for my sister and her boyfriend. And I thought that was so cute. I got this a while back. I mean not expired that far back but um i got it a, a couple of months ago because sometimes you just can't find that stuff again and then this is for my grandmother so she's always looking for cough drops i got her that and gotta get some chocolate in there not easter but it's something so that's what i got as gifts and steve he doesn't really eat candy i guess i could have gotten him like a protein bar but next year and here is my garden that i set up so there's parsley basil uh cilantro jalapenos two types of tomatoes arugula spinach and that's it for right now i'm trying to grow them uh by seed so we'll see how they end up faring i probably started too late but you know i'm gonna try and see what comes up Hey, so it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, Sunday. My goodness. Uh, I'm hot. I don't know why this is not necessary. Probably the sweatshirt either, but um, I put it on. And so we're out. We're picking up food for Easter. And we're going to drop off a carrot cake that I made for my aunt. I was opening up the uh, food that we got. And these are the desserts. So there's brownies. Um, I'm going to call those pet petite fours, <laughs> excuse my French, and I think that's, uh, some type of bread pudding. Uh, 
right now I am transferring the food um, into foil pans so I could reheat it. I didn't realize they were going to send this in t plastic, so I thought it was going to be foil so I could just put it in the oven to warm up. Unfortunately, I have to transfer everything, but that's okay. So that's what I'm doing at the moment, and my crescent rolls are uh, ready to be put in the oven in a little bit, and there's the treats for everybody. Okay, so just finished making our appetizers. It's melon and prosciutto, one of my favorite 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 appetizers i was gonna do baked clams but it was just too much work plus i got to take out the clams from the freezer uh but you have melon you could even use uh the green one i forgot what it's called no so <laughs> honeydew you could use that uh prosciutto and then i like to put a little white pepper hey so i am um, all the prep work is done well what i could do uh for the moment and now i'm getting ready my sister and i are wearing the same headband and gotta fix that oh yeah yeah okay good oh gosh what is happening with this flower get out of there oh guys eh. why Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, that didn't. Alright. I think all the flowers are as best as they're going to look. So, I am getting ready. And I'm just going to put very light makeup on. I'm not going to do crazy. So, it's just going to be foundation, mascara, and blush and maybe eyebrows. Hi, today is day 29 and I'm not going to vlog today but I um, forgot to close out the vlog yesterday uh, but right now it's about 1.30 and it's Monday, April 13th, day 29th of staying at home. Um, tomorrow will be officially a month. Seems like we've been doing this for a long time <laughs> uh, but it's only been a month and Yesterday, uh, last night, I just, I decided to, oh, you know what I didn't film? us watching SNL. So funny and different, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, but last night, I decided to do my nails with the dip powder, and I don't think they came out that bad. I mean, there's a few things that I don't like, uh, but it's all in, I think, like the learning process. And I've only done it a few times before this, so... Yeah, well, with the glitter, love this color. I don't know why it's not. Oh, there you go. Much better. Okay, so that's what I did last night, and it went faster than usual, which was great. I hope you guys are all doing well and taking care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.